began shooting, she was shot by two off-duty officers working security. The young child was oh taken to the hospital God. with serious injuries. Another man was injured. Stay with Fox 5. We'll continue to update the story tonight on Fox 5 News at 10. Still ahead on Fox 5 News. Hey, Bird, did y'all lose a scooter? Whatever that says. I'm up here in an alley, service alley. That's Ponce Leon up there. North Highland. And that's St. Charles. Uh, what is that street there with the library? Y'all know how the guy don't find this thing, then uh, y'all to be able to find it. Violent incidents involving migrants that have gained national attention. A 15-year-old shoplifting suspect from Venezuela arrested Friday for opening fire in Times Square while fleeing from police, a bullet wounding a tourist from Brazil. And caught on camera, a Waymo self-driving vehicle up in flames after being vandalized and set on fire Saturday night. Officials say it had happened in Chinatown of San Francisco while several Lunar New Year celebrations were taking place. The car reportedly surrounded by an unknown number of people. They then sprayed graffiti, broke the windows, and threw a firework inside the car, sparking the fire. Luckily, there were no passengers inside the vehicle and no injuries reported. A search underway in East Tennessee for a man suspected of shooting and killing a sheriff's deputy, injuring another during a Thursday traffic stop. Kenneth DeHart is wanted on warrants of first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Police arrested and charged his brother with accessory on the crime. The brother is held on a $1 million bond, accused of aiding the suspect. After the commission of a homicide, the brother is due on court on Monday. However, the search for DeHart continues. On Saturday, the Sheriff's Department increased the reward for information, leading to his capture to $100,000. There's a tire on that e bike. They don't care what kind of condition they're in. Another line scooter up yonder. 1001 Fox Leon. Come get your junk, Lion. Cute students telling them they were dead. One first grader's parent says her son was traumatized by the drill, which was not approved by the district and did not follow the district's policy for protocol. Many staff members also upset by the drill. The incident at Washington Elementary in the San Gabriel District under investigation, with some parents calling for Denson's removal. An unusual discovery in the luggage of a traveler returning to the U.S. from Africa. A Customs and Border Protection dog sniffing out mummified monkeys. The passenger oh returning God. from the Democratic Republic of Congo reporting the luggage contained dried fish, but instead, inspectors finding the bodies of four dead and dehydrated monkeys. Officials say raw or minimally processed meat, better known as bushmeat, is banned in the U.S. due to the threat of disease. Officials say all the luggage was seized and marked for destruction the traveler was not charged well, this, this one's on private property been here for days why the welfare of her child by putting her baby down for a nap in the oven According to police, 26-year-old Mariah Thomas accidentally killed her one-month-old newborn when she put the infant in the oven instead of a crib. Police were called to the home Friday afternoon on reports of a child not breathing. While little information is still unavailable, we do know a probable cause statement cites the child was found with burns. The mother telling police she put the baby the down for a nap accidentally in placing her instead in the oven instead of the crib the official statement did not explain how she made that mistake 
will be following that likely this summer. Congressman Adam Smith, always great to have you. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Up next, Republicans making inroads with traditionally strong Democratic supporters gaining support from Black and Hispanic voters. We're going to bring our Sunday group to talk about a new round of what's being called panic within the Democrat Party after a tough week for the president. Next. Yeah. People are tired of getting ripped off. Democrats and Republicans with two very different takes on special counsel Robert Hur's reports on President Biden's handling of classified documents. Let's take it up with our Sunday group. Reuters White House correspondent Jeff Mason. What? RP also found one in 10 workers over 50 have been passed over for a promotion because of their age. Now, the organization says pay, flexibility and job inclusion are what really matter to older workers. Still ahead. Mix in some superstar power and turn them loose. 500 miles from NASCAR's biggest prize. That's the great American race. The Daytona 500, February 18th on Fox. Fox 5 is here to help you stay informed. Check out Fox Local for your streaming device. It's Brands Mark USA's Big Game Blowout. Watch the game on a 75 inch 4K Google TV for $3.98.88. Church. Cheating. There is now $6.99.98. Friday through Sunday only at Brands Mark USA. Violent crimes are happening all over Atlanta at an alarming rate. I was victimized. I was assaulted. It should have never happened. I wanted justice. You need an experienced, powerful law firm fighting back for you. So I put my trust in Gary Martin Hayes and Associates. They took care of me every step of the way. The settlement solved a lot of problems. And I could take the time I needed to heal. There was no fee until the case settled. I'm attorney Gary Martin Hayes. Call me now. 1-800-WIN-WIN-1 to discuss your case. We're here for Georgia. That means Georgia Power is committed to providing our state with the clean, safe, reliable, and affordable energy it needs. We understand that energy costs are an important part of everyone's budget. That's why we're dedicated to providing tips, tools, and assistance. On the issue of illegal migration and what the impacts of migration have been to New York City, that will be just another bombshell to drop in this city, Washington, D.C., and Democratic panic will be turned up to 11. But Juan, what if your guy wins? Well, I think, you know, Democrats have been doing very well in special elections over the last few years. So uh, I think that's part of it. But I think to speak to Matthew's point, what we saw in Washington in the last week in the House especially was dysfunction. And we see Mike Johnson struggling. If he loses one vote, it puts him even further into a region of risk. Yeah. How much does it take? to us um i thought that it's something that we do all the time the hype and the swag that we bring you know we do this all the time but this wasn't your typical request a casting director wanted this high school band to help remind the world why usher has them caught up i got with my my wonderful staff and we strategize you're going to put this two day the christmas break with limited uh, ex- uh uh connections with the students and when band director lionel finally made him back let's not the they got a prayer about on it. People who work in music exec. Bunch, what it represents in applied ad that captures generational appeal. And for something as big as the Super Bowl, that it's it's yeah. pretty cool. Alex Whitley reporting. Now Goodwin says he hopes this experience proves to students band is more than just a hobby. It has the potential to propel these students to unfathomable heights. And right now, let's take a live look at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. It's gotten pretty cloudy out yeah. there in the last couple of hours. And let's, of course, go to Fox 5's 14 Chief. U.S. government provides radio and TV broadcasts to service members who are stationed overseas. The Pentagon saying this week that the network will once again carry live Super Bowl broadcasts for those stationed outside of the U.S. In a statement, the director of the Defense Media Activity, which runs the network, said providing U.S. forces serving overseas with this important touch of home directly supports military leaders by enhancing troop morale. 
The statement also thanking the NFL for its role in ensuring troops overseas can watch the game. And the Pentagon also saying that troops who cannot watch the game live will be able to watch it later through an on-demand streaming app. The American Forces Network has been around for 82 years, giving service members serving overseas a piece of home. In Washington, I'm David Aide for Newsnet. An adorable lion cub. Officials say Demchenko died December 31st as the result of a stroke several days earlier. It's unclear now why it took so long for the news to become public. Speaking Saturday at a political rally in South Carolina, Donald Trump warning NATO allies that as he would in Russia, quote, do whatever the hell they want to countries that are delinquent in their NATO contributions as he wraps up his attacks on foreign aid and longstanding international alliances. Of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. The